yeah, most of the projects that I put on at the uh, are, are, like off camera before before I began have for the most part been completed now. Rid of all of that ladder. Um, <clears throat> really could do with kind of sorting out this chlorine problem. And uh, this is obviously not picking up this. Uh, mind you, it's really low density CO2 down here. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, ah, yes, this was another thing that I wanted to start dealing with. Uh, and all I'm going to do is remove those five tiles so that this polluted oxygen can start coming out into here and the deodorizers will start converting it. Oh, it's apparently not receiving any power. Uh, that also needs to divert the... Um, the switch for when it's turned off. So let's fix that and make priority nine. And of course, if I do that, how do I do this? Do that, then disconnect that. Don't destroy that switch yet. New switch. Where are you? Oh. Put the switch on here instead. And that is empty now. So again, switch it to anything but water. Turn this system off. Turn this system on. Cancel all of that. I don't want them actually going down in there yet. I just want the DO drivers to start working passively. Um, now we can deconstruct that switch. No, not cool. Not working. What's going on? Power! Ah, of course, I didn't connect that last bit. Uh, done. For some reason, it did it automatically. Not quite sure how that works, but okay. Um, this should start... Oh, yeah, it is receiving water. Or is it? Good. Okay, 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 okay. What is next? I suppose starting to tidy up some of the plumbing would be the next big thing. Um, with that in mind, let's start to plan some of it out. Uh, gonna need... First of all, some lit valves. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Now, we'll just do normal pipes for this part. Um, I'm not actually going to hook it up to the, uh, the pump just yet. Okay, so this is going to be the start of our water system. So... We are going to want 
a cooling loop down here. Oh, we're going to lose. Um, sorry, I, I think I misunderstood what you were saying before. You weren't talking about the reservoirs, were you? You were talking about this here, for example. Um, no. So I'll give you a perfect example of this. Oh, OK. No longer a perfect example of what I was going to show you. But um, yeah, if you've got just kind of chlorine, you can see there is a bit of chlorine in this tank. And surely they'll probably, oh no, it's CO2 down here. But anyway, yeah, if you just have like chlorine sat on top of the water, it, it won't really clean it. Um, hey, Roy McCoy, how's it going, mate? Did that get built? Obviously, error. Um, ooh, food is a little bit low again. Um, why is this? Not filled. Should be, because this is full of sediment. Oh. Full of sandstone, that's why that's not happening. Um, in which case, let's turn all these things off and set it to just store sedimentary rock. Not too bad, says Roy McCoy. How about me? I'm doing pretty good, mate. I'm uh, slowly fixing the problems that I've caused <laughs> in this base. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's getting there slowly. The big problem is this pool of water, which is full of food poisoning. Um, but I'm getting there. It's slowly being dealt with. Um, Yeah, otherwise pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, oxygen is amazing again. Lots of oxygen. It was down to about 400 grams at the start of the session. Now it's, uh, ooh, there are little bits of, oh, it's just floral scent germs. <laughs> Almost started to panic there. Uh, right. Yeah, in fact, you know what? I am going to disable this pump. We have got so much coal. And, uh, yeah, the, there's really not enough hydrogen to kind of uh, warrant using this hydrogen generator at the moment. So let's also disable that. So what are we going to do? Well, we've got so much coal um, that this can just run and run and run and run. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's just see how, how much coal do I have. Ah! all thank you uh coal 69 tons yeah so much uh we can run the whole base on just these coal generators uh and also that will save some power because at the moment basically all it's doing is pumping oxygen into the base which i don't need it to. um and i do want the hydrogen to start accumulating here and start digging more of this out. So let's keep going with the old slime. Yeah. 
yeah, there's there's a fair bit of hydrogen up here. Uh, do need to be careful of that neutronium, uh, what well, the the volcano that's hidden here. Um, it's actually going to make my base slightly symmetrical, which is going to drive me nuts. Yeah, for 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 placement of a volcano right above your kind of transit line, not good, not good at all. Okay, yes, I was building, or starting to build, um, perhaps, uh, all of those. Okay, yeah, I was starting to think about how I'm going to do, um, water. And I don't, I, I, I don't really know, <laughs> in all honesty, I think what I might do Plumbing overlay on so I can see what's going on currently. So if I have three cooling loops and one loop that will feed like the bathrooms and the showers. Where am I going to want the cooling loops? Probably one down here. One that kind of runs through the center of the base. Third one will go up here. So this will be the bottom cooling loop to get up to that aqua tuner at some point though, somehow, somewhere um, along the way. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. It over for a second. So, oh, this is probably full. Yes, it is. Um, And double check, not set to water, so it's fine. Cool. Start cycling that round. Let's have a look at what water pipes can carry as a maximum. Let's just have a quick look at Igneous Rock. I mean, there should be tons of it around. Yeah, 164 tons. Definitely not some something to worry about. Um, so what is the max capacity of a pipe? In kilograms. I split those off into, like, 0.3 kilograms, then that as a full one. All three of those things can flow into one aqua. How much aqua? How much can it take it? I suppose probably as much as the pipe can carry. So yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, still, how exactly I'm going to deal with it? It's uh, not overly clear. Um, right. Seems as though those germs are dead, so let's just 
Hunt this water. Oh, of course, that's... Oh, no. Why is it not doing anything? Bizarre. Hmm. Going on here. They're just too much in the system. Added too much water. But I mean, even so, fish should now be pumping out the water. What's going on? Not sure what pipe it's referring to, why it's blocked. The output pipe is not blocked though. Ugh. Okay. Being funny with me. So I'm going to have to uh, do what I did a little while ago and just break one of these pipes. Does mean 10 kilos of water is going to go flooding this room. There are worse things to happen. Um, in fact, that's probably not going to be in. Drop that piece as well. Oh, the facts, no. Cancel that for now. Make sure that they can actually... Uh, mop the water that is there first and then break another pipe Yes, because the, there is still water in this pipe that's being fed into it, so it is slowly just refilling that over again. Keep on breaking a couple of pipes. There we go. It's working now. Just be checking here, water, no germs, uh, no germs, good, okay. That's now emptying, hallelujah. Um, polluted water getting steadily higher and higher. Not even close to clearing this out. It'll happen. Just going to take some time. I think what I'll probably do between this session and next is just let this run for like 30, 40 cycles and uh, kind of clear up some of the uh, clear up some of the mistakes and you know clear out some of the slime. That's again, I can I can keep chipping away at bits of slime.
the slime does seem to be uh, sorry the slime lung does seem to be um unique to just slime it's not actually in any of the kind of surrounding materials and sometimes end up with like oh there we go there's a perfect example of what i was going to talk about um there is clay that has slime lung on it so we want to stop this from holding the clay allow this one instead hold the clay okay, full soil yeah cool high priority nine so that should get moved pretty much immediately as soon as it does another one there as well uh slime lung on some sandstone so tell this to stop storing sandstone get this sweat as a priority alert probably done we priority alert and make sure that this can accept sandstone uh raw mineral Don't go taking it somewhere else. Oh, you absolute fool. This doesn't have... Should all hopefully putting it in here but of course oh no okay some of them have got germs on them but not all of them um that so sandstone um then we'll also get rid of the seeds from here as well Allow it to accept all seeds. I think that's dealt with slime lung problems seems to have um and once they're all gone from here yep but we can say no more seeds no more sandstone oh no more sandstone and what else was it holding clay or clay and that will just get put back into normal rotation at some point. Um, another problem we do have is that we've got lots of these water bottles just kind of hanging around all over the place because I've got nowhere to actually pump clean water into. So I do need to build a bottle empty. Um, Tiny bits of food poisoning there, but in a concentrated sterile atmosphere like this is, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, 
Okay, I am going to move that wheeze wart because it's absolutely redundant where it currently sat. Um, we'll try and make this area a little bit more pleasant to be in. Really not going to do a great deal of good considering we've got three electrolyzers working up here. Temperatures are pretty bad over here. They're all right over here. By the plants. Yeah, it, it's actually lower than it was earlier. Like, yeah, before it was like 28, 29. So here it's not too great. But here, for example, 26. That's it, It's still far too close to the, um, to the maximum than I would like it to be. But in fact, let's see. Bristle blossoms, they require a temperature of 5 to 30. So yeah, 30 is the max. So we could do... Well, this is why I started to put this idea for a cooling system in. Um, the greater good for the, what? What's for the greater good? Sorry, I um, I'm I'm not sure what you were referring to there. We're going to lose. I'm also going to uproot this one. Ah. Cool. So we've got a bit of cooling going on in this area now. Um, winter carrot in the oxygen creating room. Yes, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, 43 degrees is not good, not good at all. Yes, yeah, so look at the state of that. That's horrific. Really need this area to cool down, lest we have big problems down the road. We need everywhere to get cooler, to be honest. We need everywhere. <laughs> To get cooler. This water's at a nice 22 degrees. Slightly warmer in this one. Hmm, that's a concern. It's risen in temperature here. Oh dear. Um, looks like we might be needing to use this system after all, and it will be a very, very, very temporary thing, um, which is why I've not ripped it out yet, because I thought it might be the case. Got nine idle dupes, which means I really need to start thinking about what I want to be doing. Um, well, the two guys that normally do slime one can keep on going with that. Let's make sure that we're building scaffolding as we go. Uh, yes, yeah, some research will probably not be a bad thing to do since there's few projects on the go at the moment. Um, let's do that. I don't know exactly what it is that I want to research, but something is better than nothing. Um, let's have a look around. Um, transit tubes will be so nice, but I just really don't have the power capacity for that kind of stuff yet. We are going to be doing uh, plastics relatively soon, so let's get some of the home luxuries on the go. Um, High culture, yeah, no. Well, let, let's just leave it at home luxuries for now. Um, what other things do I need doing? Uh, I suppose now that this area is 
there. There's still there are slime lung germs there and there, but not there. So actually, I don't want to open those doors whatsoever at the moment. Um, oxygen with slime lung in getting into the base would be horrendous. Horrendous. Um, God, yeah, clearing this area out is going to be a real pain. I'm going to maybe have to do a little bit more research because I don't want to have to wait 100 cycles for those slime lung germs to die. Um, I mean, they are slowly going... They're, they're, well, no, they're hovering. They're, they're not really going down. Mind you, the main reason for that is because of all this polluted oxygen. So really, actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, um, as quick as you all possibly can, build a ladder down there. Put in a couple of deodorizers. Power them up. The only way that we're going to get this under control is if there is no more polluted oxygen. Because uh, slime lung will grow in polluted oxygen, but it won't grow in oxygen. So, yeah, the, the, the kind of quicker that we can deal with all the, the polluted stuff, the better. Um, it's just a risk in case some... It's gonna... Oh, yeah, there we go. The moment that I opened the door, some slime lung got out into the base. But, I mean, it... Yeah, in fact, it's dealt with already. And it's not in that next... Oh, no, it does slowly seep into that next tile. Look at that. 3,000 germs got through just from them going through the doors. But then the oxygen is also quite dense at 1,000 grams, so it will die off. But uh, I may have just... I may have just caused a cataclysmic event. <laughs> Look at it. Growing like there's no tomorrow. It's already seeped out into there and down to there. Right. Nobody should be going back in now. All of that stuff is done. Oh, no. Somebody's. Oh, yeah, of course. They've got to put filtration stuff into them. So, sand. Oh god, I may have just started something there. I should have left it. Should have left it. I mean, the slime lung will die in pure oxygen just very slowly. No, no, no. I, in fact, I, I want these doors. Nobody should be able to go that way anymore. Nobody should be able to go that way anymore. I don't want people going through here anymore. Uh, but of course, I do need someone to go through. Um, is there a way to disallow them from... Because they're going in to pick up this stuff that's on the floor, and I don't want them to do that. But I do want somebody going in to um, deliver sand and, and the likes. Slime lung will die eventually. But yeah, if I can just leave it like that for now. God, why do I have a feeling that I made a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake? So yeah, pretty much all of that polluted oxygen is gone from here now. It's just stuck over there. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Germs. Yeah. Oh, actually, do you know what? They were like around about the 2000 mark earlier. Let's just not let anybody back in there until all of those germs have gone. Um, but let's also keep a, a regular eye on what's going on with the germs. 
Okay, that seems to have emptied, so switch that salt, switch this circuit off, switch this circuit on, and start the process all over again. How are we doing in terms of the polluted oxygen? It's all gone. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, those um <laughs> that overkill with <laughs> deodorizers was worth it. Um let's deconstruct a couple of them because we don't need all of them anymore. Um that one. Oh, that one never never actually got connected up to uh, the power supply, so yeah, definitely, definitely can go. Uh, let's leave that one there just in case. Um, right, 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 right. What are we doing? Hydrogen is starting to collect here quite nicely now that I've turned off the um, the gas pump. Uh. The coal generators are doing a relatively nice job, although they're, of course, going to be heating up the base quite nicely as well. How are these wheeze warts doing? Eh. Barely making a dent, but, well, actually, no, it was like, you know, okay, 44. It does get up to 44 when they're pumping oxygen out, but... The wheat warts are kind of doing a little bit to minimise that problem. Not a great deal, but then they've only been in there for like a cycle, so with some uh, with, with some time, that should probably fix itself. Um, right, building projects. What building projects do we want to do? I suppose it's this cooling loop system, really. So that one is going to be for the bottom cooling loop, which I'm going to leave till later. Um, this one will be the, uh, the like this this area here. So let's 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 get that one going. Um, let's switch it down to just speed level one, so that I've got some time to think. Of course, this is going to feed the farm as well. Okay, that's cool. Um, Plumbing. We want radiant liquid pipes because we want it to be spread in the love. Um, we'll go there and then. So, um, how is food? 51,000. Not bad, not great. Um, I can afford to get the farms not working just for a very short period of time whilst I kind of fix this loop. Um, so we want to deconstruct this. Priority nine. We'll just let that water feed through and then we don't have to bleed the pipes. Of course, some of the water is just going to, you know, drop down here. But yeah, it's really not a problem. 